Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have episode number 2 of the Inter Milan career mode on FIFA 20. Thank you guys so much for the support on the first episode. Um, I really appreciate it. If you could leave a like and comment on this video and subscribe if you're new around here I'd appreciate that as well. We're getting closer to 1.1k subscribers so it's really really good to see um, the growth on the channel already just uh, since like the first like four days of uh, FIFA 20 has been out. So I've looked at your suggestions in the comment section below uh, in the previous video and um, there were a lot of different players and uh, different options there. So what we're going to do today, we're going to, I've gone through and put everyone on the shortlist um, as well as the players that I had. Um, so what we're going to do is basically just start off from the top. Now this one, obviously I'm not going to pay the money for Neymar because I don't think we even have enough for him. But someone said you can try and loan him, but I don't know if that works, which it doesn't. So we're going to get rid of that. The first player I'm going to sign though, or try to sign, is Verratti. Now he was uh, highly requested from... Uh, I reckon I've seen like two, three, maybe four people um, suggest him. So that is who we're going to try and sign first. So he's valued at 49 million. I don't really know how much I want to offer. I'm going to offer 54 and see how much if they take that. 78 million. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Let's drop that down to 65 and a half. And let's see what they say for that. I don't know if they're going to accept this. Still, oh, they're not going to move off this price. That the only problem with this is then uh, me trying to sign other players. It doesn't really leave me with um, much money for other players. So we're going to try 71 and a half. Hopefully they accept this one. Not too sure if they will. Okay, they have accepted that. A lot of money for Verratti here. Um, so we're going to have to try and get him for as cheap as possible on his wages because I don't really know how much money we're going to get left over but yeah a crucial player he'll be starting every game so he wants a four year deal that's alright I'm going to slap a re release clause on him for 80 million uh, just because why not uh, hopefully that reduces his wage expectance yeah he, so he's taking a pay cut to come here I will happily take that so Verratti is the first signing of the season and career mode with Inter Milan. Now what we're going to do is go into the team here and put Verratti in for I think I think I'm going to take him out for Vecino uh, uh, and then I'm going to put him on the bench for probably I'd probably say this guy because why not I need to get more players in anyway but yeah that's what we're doing there. Verratti slots straight in with Sensi and Barella. Uh, Bure yeah, is it Barella, I think? So, re realistically, we need a right wing. So, what we're going to do now is head over into the shortlist again. And like I said, obviously, because we don't really have much money left over, some of the big players that we want to sign, like Sancho, I don't really think we're going to have enough money for them. But what we can try and do is see if we can, like, change this it doesn't really change it much does it no not really I'm gonna change it to that and hopefully we can try and sign one or two more players so Bale I mean there's no way we're gonna be able to get Bale Jorginho and Neves I mean again I'm just gonna leave I'm gonna leave those out for this now Coleman and Bailey I mean again I don't I'm not gonna be able to get either of those uh, Lamella would be an option because he's fairly cheap Kostic as well, he's just joined so he's not going to join, that's annoying. Sancho, yeah, we're not going to be able to afford Sancho. Asenjo, again, not going to be able to afford him. Or Nabry, uh, it's not looking too good for us here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these players that we're not going to be able to afford. Loftus-Cheek, again, I don't think I'm going to actually bother with him. Um, someone said try loan Daniel James, um, but loans just don't work on this at all. Um, Hey, uh, Rashford, Rodrigo. Now, I'm going to try and sign Rodrigo here as one, a backup striker, but he can also play on the right wing, I do believe. So, that's what we're going to try and do now. Is 24 million is, is his value. So, we're going to offer 25 for him. 34, that's not, that's too much um, for me. I'm going to go down to. 29,750 and see if they'll take that instead 
which they do. Okay, that's decent for us. Rodrigo looks ever closer to joining Inter Milan. Now, hopefully, we can sign him. So, in we go now. He doesn't really want that much wage, so that's decent for us. Important for him. Uh, now, three-year deal, I guess. He's only 20, he's 28, so he'll give us a good season or two. Let's just do, like, I don't know, 60 mil. And then we're going to go into his contract, which is that. Now, that's actually not too bad. It leaves us with a little bit of money left over, you know. So, I mean, we're not really going to be able to get any of these players. How much is Haaland worth? He's only just joined and he won't be moving anytime soon. So, I think looking at it now, uh, we'll go back to the squad and we'll just sort it out here. Um, what I'm going to do... So, Martinez is... Yeah. I'm going to put Rodrigo on the right wing. I know it only says he's a striker, but I'm going to put him on the right wing because he's played there before. Um, so, this is the team at the moment. It's not too bad, if I'm being quite honest. The defence and goalkeeper are good. Verratti's a really good addition. Sensi, Barella, Rodrigo, Sanchez, Lukaku, Martinez. The team's not actually looking that bad. So, if I save that as it is... What I need from you guys is some superstar signings because uh, if we look at it now, 4.8 million, we don't have much money left so we're going to have to try and get in some youngsters uh, just to bolster up the squad um, if we just get up to 5 million. Uh, I'm not too sure what type of players we, we could go for uh, but we just need some more squad players. I mean we could just end up just doing a youth uh, scout and sending them out uh, but I'm not too sure how I want to play it. Now, I don't know when deadline day is. I think deadline day is before our first game of the season. I'm not too sure if I can remember correctly. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simulate now live. Just to say, actually, I'm going to go on the calendar uh, just to make it easier. So the first game is here, which I will simulate too. Obviously, nothing will really happen because I'm not going to sign anyone. I'm going to play this game, I think, live as well. And then stop the episode there, ask for some more suggestions for young players who are obviously going to be worth like less than like a few million because we don't really have the money to bring anyone else in. We're only going to be able to make like one or two more signings, if that. Uh, just due to the fact that we don't have much money after making that big variety signing and that Rodrigo signing as well. Obviously, I tried to get in Daniel James on loan. Loan system just doesn't really seem to work in... Um... Oh, we've got... Oh, wait. Someone sold. That's not good. Who's sold? Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. So, Joel Mario. Reject that one. Reject that one. Dalba, I'm not going to sell either. Reject those. So... These guys came in. Obviously, I had to go and pay for Sanchez because he wasn't updated in the squads and I forgot. Um, so, I don't get where I've just got that money from then. If um, if nothing was... If no one's gone on low and no one's sold, I don't know where the extra money's come from there. Um, so, we've got 28 million in the bag now, somehow. So, let me just make sure that everyone's in the squad still. Yeah, everyone's there already. Verratti's actually already gone up a rating, which is nice to see. Um, so we are at the first game of the season. Now, I'm actually interested in just going to check the transfer list right now. I'm just going to look at some of the players which we have on here. Jesus is worth more than what we've got. So is Rashford. Oh, he's actually transferred, so we're getting rid of Rashford there. Eric Lamella. I mean, we've just got Rodrigo in. I mean, Loftus-Cheek. Would not actually be a bad shout. He can play on the left as well. I'm really tempted to go in for Loftus Cheek right now. Do I do it? I'm not too sure if I shout. I might just wait for the next episode for you guys. Or should I just try it now? You know what? I think I might try. Loftus Cheek at Inter Milan. English player going abroad. Let's just try and see what Chelsea are going to want. So I'm tempted, I'm tempted. Let's see. And we need we need the rotation in that midfield, so obviously we want a transfer fee. How much is he worth? 15. Let's give 17 and a half. 
to see what they say to that. Oh wow, okay, they accept that. Okay, and we, that still leaves us with at least 11 million, so I mean we can still sign some more players. Um, so that is a really, really good prospect there. Off the sheet wants to be an important player. I mean, he probably will play quite a few games. Um, just juggling around in the midfield. Okay, no release clause, that's fine. What do you want for your wages? That's the question. Okay, it's up to me. Let's give him 80 grand a week with like a 275 bonus. Keep him on the same wage as what he's on. That's a fair offer. So. Third sign of the episode, Loftus Cheek is now an Inter Milan player. So, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to put him on the bench for now. Uh, I'm going to get rid of one of the two. Kandreva, Kandreva, he's 32, I didn't realise how old he was. So, that is the team. I mean, a backup striker could probably be something better on this kid. Uh, even a backup goalkeeper, we don't really have much uh, strength in the goalkeeper position. So, Varela and Sensi will be the players that start for now. Loftus-Cheek can also drift out on the left wing if Sanchez is not performing. So I think that's a decent start for us. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna jump into the first game of the, oh, the first game of the season and the first and last game of the episode. So once I get into there, I'll show you the highlights whilst I'm in the live game and I will be right back. Right guys, here we are in the first game of the season. At home, we've made a lot of signings. Rodrigo, obviously Sanchez is a new signing in a, in a way. Uh, and Verratti start for us today. Loftus-Cheek is on the bench, but he will make an appearance at some point. I'm actually really excited to use this Inter Milan team. Uh, obviously, the 3-5-2 I haven't used yet at all. Um, Barella plays it into Rodrigo straight away. And Rodrigo, with that blistering pace, is going to whip the ball in. Lukaku's in there. Lukaku! And we get a corner in the first, second minute. Whipped in now by Sensi, it's actually drifted way too far there. Barella, uh, Alexis Sanchez, can he prove the doubt is wrong at Inter Milan with a strike? Oh my god, what a strike that was. Look at my guy with the long hair and the hat. Sanchez with a really nice strike there, but always going over the bar. Really, really good start from Inter Milan in the first five minutes. Barella wins the ball here, Lukaku. Not bad first touch, but we can't really find anyone else there. Here come the opposition. Again, most of the time when I play in these um, foreign leagues, I don't know the names of the teams and most of the time of the players. So if, I, if I'm playing teams and I don't say their name, it's because I can't pronounce it properly. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's why I normally don't really say anything. But Martinez now on the ball. Lukaku plays it into Martinez. Nice play from both of these strikers. Lukaku driving on forward. I can't get there. Sensi on the ball, plays it inside to Martinez, going to wait for that runner, Lukaku, Lukaku in on goal, what a save by the keeper, Sanchez trying to win the header, he doesn't, counter attack for the opposition now, played inside, can we get the ball back here, nice press from the team, can't get the ball back, Godin tracking back, played out wide here, and again Martinez pressing high, Lovely ball over the top. I don't think it's going to get there, and it's not. It's going to go out for a goal kick. All oh, risky stuff from me there. I played out short when I shouldn't have. I don't know where the striker is going. Whipped in. That's a dangerous ball. Verratti's there to clear. And Barella comes away with the ball here. I'm going to play it into Martinez. Lukaku plays it into Barella. Can he dink it around to Martinez? No, he can't. Yes, he can, actually. Martinez has done well to get the ball back. Plays it inside to Rodrigo. Verratti on the ball. Lukaku takes it around the defender. Can he shoot? No. Corner now for Inter Milan. Whipped in by Sensi again. Lovely ball, that. Sanchez, edge of the box. Sanchez again. Turns to the defender. Shoot. Sanchez, oh, he skied it again. Here come the opposition now, deep in our half, on the wing, whipped in, Handanovic safe hands. Going to roll that one out there to Sanchez, oh it's Verratti. Uh, Sensi now on the ball, out to Godin. 
Godin of all people pushing forward. Tries to dink it over to Martinez, but he couldn't. Sensi does well to track back there. Verratti to Sensi. Sensi plays it out wide to Barella. Verratti down to Sanchez, going to cut inside. Plays it into Sensi. Sensi into Lukaku. Lukaku, lovely turn. Can he finish it? Oh, he's missed Barella, who's onside as well. How has he missed there? Again, the opposition playing a nice ball over the top. Back in again. Good save from Handanovic there. Really needed that save, otherwise that would have gone in. Corner now. Can we get the ball clear and go on a counter-attack of our own? There's one at the front post. Godin's going to clear this. Sanchez is there. Can he win the ball? Yes, he can. Martinez is pretty isolated up here by himself. Just waiting for everyone else to arrive. Sensi into Sanchez. Back to Martinez. Back to Sanchez. Sanchez round the defender. Lays it off to Martinez who's going to have a shot. And what a goal by Martinez. Top bins by Martinez. Lovely play from Sanchez and Martinez. Lovely, lovely link up play there. Lovely little layoff by Sanchez. He could have gone alone but he plays it across and what a strike that is from Martinez. Martinez getting the first goal of this Inter Milan save on FIFA 20. Really, really well worked goal and we've deserved that all game. Sensi now going to try and slide Lukaku in. He is. Lukaku on the turn. Trying to wait for some help here. Slides it into Martinez. Martinez again. Oh, he's put it in the same top corner. It's 2 0. Literally minutes after we score with Martinez, he scores an identical goal and it is 2 0. Martinez with the goal. Lost the sheet's going to come on for Sensi now in the 62nd minute. Sensi's had a really, really good game. Uh, but I just want to give Loftus Cheek some minutes in his first game uh, for Inter Milan. So that is just unbelievable. I can't believe it just scored twice within the m matter of minutes. Opposition now on the attack. Deep in our own half. Gone past Godin. Godin's not quick enough to get back. Good save from Handanovic. Barella now on the attack. Rodrigo, oh, it's Verratti. Martinez round the corner. I'm going to wait for Lukaku to come inside. Waiting for that run of Barella. Gets past the first man, but he can't get past the second. And the keeper there is just absolutely just booted out for no reason. No pressure on him at all. I don't know why the keepers do that um, on FIFA 20. But anyway, Lukaku now. Oh, I was trying to play that into Lukaku. We're going to win the ball back anyway in, with our defence. Verratti. Play it inside to Barella, to Lukaku. Lukaku, oh, slides it across. Oh, Loftus Cheek was there. I've seen the gap. Just couldn't get the finish off. But Lukaku's won it back straight away. Martinez. Gonna dink that over. I don't think Barella's gonna get there. He doesn't. It's out for a throwing though. Oh, for the opposition, not for us. Here come the opposition again. The Vrij tracking back. Cuts it back. Verratti's there. Good defensive work from Inter. Can we get rid of the ball? Verratti wins it. Loftus Cheek now on the ball. Gonna wait for that run. Oh, Verratti. That's a lovely from Loftus Cheek. Straight through the legs of the defender. Sanchez now on the attack. Bombing it down the wing. Oh, inside. Breezes past the defender there. Slides it across to Lukaku for his first goal of the season. And Inter's third of the game. That is game over. 90th minute, Lukaku gets his goal. Really, really well played from Lukaku. Nice run from him. Lovely first touch. And bang, top bins for Lukaku. 3-0 for Inter. Really, really nice start to the season. Three goals. A clean sheet. Can't really ask for more than that. Uh, re really impressed with the team in this game. Uh, I really enjoy the 3-5-2. That's the first time I've played it. Uh, and it's and it's really really um, paid off. So what we're gonna do now? Jump into the post-match interview, and then we'll end the episode there. But before we do get into this um, post-match interview, if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here, that would really be really appreciated. Um, as this has been a really really good episode here. So how happy how happy are you with your first um, win? The lads gave me a hundred percent. Verratti, he was 
honestly, Verratti was really, really good. And so was Sanchez. Uh, I'll say the same thing because it is clear. Now, that is the end of the post-match interview and the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.